Hi everybody! Welcome and thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Tani and I'm an independent author and somebody who just really loves great stories. So on this channel I talk about writing, books I've enjoyed, and lessons I've learned on my publishing journey. One of the skills that I've picked up as an indie author is book formatting, and that is something that I've actually come to really enjoy, especially for print books. And it's something that, honestly, I think I've gotten pretty good at over the years. I will pop up some images on the screen so you can see what some of my books look like on the inside. I have done the print formatting myself for all of these books, and I plan to continue doing that for any books that I self-publish in the future. I've gotten several questions and comments about my book formatting, and people are usually pretty surprised to learn that I do my formatting in Microsoft Word. I realize that Microsoft Word is not the best formatting software out there, but it is something that a lot of writers have access to already, and you can actually do a lot with it if you know how to. In this video series, I am sharing some tips and tricks that I've learned that hopefully you can use to format your own books if you decide that you want to do that as well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to insert a custom scene divider into your book so that you can have like some kind of visual element to divide up your scenes and show where those scene breaks are. So the first thing that we need to do is I need to find all of my scene breaks that exist in this book. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control F and that will pull up the find section. And I know that I have all of my scene breaks listed as this triple star with the spaces in between. So if I click on that first one, then I can find my very first scene break. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Then I'm going to go to insert picture from this device. And I have this little sword that I'm going to be using for my scene dividers. Now it's a little big right now, and it's also set up to be in front of the text which is not what I want for this. I actually want to make sure that this is in line with the text. So if I change it to that on the layout options, then it puts it in line with the text. The other thing is that I have my paragraphs set up to be where they're all indented. So I want to um, delete that indentation and make sure that it's right there. And it's showing as justified right now because that's what the rest of the text is. If I hit center, then it will be centered and I can go ahead and resize this and probably about that big is good and I'm going to put an extra little space before and after that just to make sure that it's easily readable and now that I have it the way that I want it it's actually easier and more consistent if I just copy all of that so I'm going to control C and then I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to control paste and now I have my sword in there. Then we're gonna come back over here to the search and we're gonna go ahead and search the other one. And even though this is in the back matter, I still want it to be um, those dividers that I have throughout the rest of the book. And then the same thing for this one. And I have some extra spaces in there it looks like, but to check, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on that show button and it does look like I have an extra space so I'm just going to delete that and then shut it off and now we have all of our scene dividers put in there how we want them much better than the boring stars that we had before so that's a really easy one to do hopefully it's not too difficult um, the biggest thing is just making sure that you have the alignment set up to where those will line up correctly in your document if you look at the description box down below, I have linked a sample Word document that you can download and play around with some of this formatting yourself. It's a document that has already been formatted. It looks just like the one that I just showed you in the video. If this video was useful to you, please hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or to let me know if there's other things that you want me to cover in this video series. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as I post more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.